Hello and welcome to What The Hey, where I'm your regular host of What The Hey, and today in What The Hey, I'm once again answering yet another question. When I go to my notebook of knowledge, I see the question of, why the hey do we build theme parks? Now this question comes from Mr. 2007, so hello to you and thank you very much for the question. Now in terms of a very basic description, a theme park, as the name kind of suggests, is an amusement park in which the landscaping, uh, rides, just general food, everything within the amusement park is catered to a certain theme, whether that's like fairy tales, uh, old west stuff, maybe like outer space. Now I'm going to go through a few different examples of different theme parks that are pretty well known. I apologize if I do not list yours, there are so many. You've got stuff like Epcot, Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom, Europa Park, Universal Studios Florida, Cedar Point, SeaWorld Orlando, Ocean Park, Dollywood, Carowinds, Six Flags, Busch Gardens, and Knott's Berry Farm, so there are so many. Stuff you'll typically see within theme parks are of course roller coasters, that's usually one of the big things most people go for. Uh, you also have stuff with merchandise depending on what kind of theme park you're at. Uh, there's various food vendors as well as like games and prizes. Now actually getting to the main point of this question, I'm going to now list a few reasons as to why we do build theme parks. For the people who do build the theme parks, the biggest reason for the most part is financial gain. Whenever I think of amusement parks and theme parks in general, like Disney, the first thing I usually think of is, oh yay, cool and great rides and different cool places to be. Usually the second thing I think of is how much money the people behind these parks are making on the daily. I mean, again, you have places like Disney where each person individually, unless they're under like a certain age and they can get in free, the amount of money people are having to spend not only on just like parking in a park to get to the theme park, you think of food, If uh, like if you're not bringing food then you don't necessarily have to worry about it unless you're buying the food to go eat, but like also spending money for food at the parks as well as just maybe doing games while you're there and let alone the ticket price to go to a theme park. So while I would like to think that people build theme parks simply because of the joy that it brings people, I really don't think that's the top case. The next biggest thing, especially for people who really enjoy roller coasters, would be the thrill. One of the theme parks that I mentioned, Carowinds, is a theme park that I've been able to go to a few times and I've been able to ride some of the biggest and fastest coasters in the southeast, ha ha ha. I believe the biggest one for a little bit was the Intimidator, but then the Fury 365 came in and everyone was like, bruh, this is so great. Another reason as to why we build theme parks would be the atmosphere. I would say a good example of this would be a place like Epcot, one of the parks that I personally really enjoy. And that's mainly because I love different cultures and history and just different countries in general. So in Epcot, it's split up into different country sections. Like you can go to like India and I think like France and like there's a section about the US, which I think is about music. So that's great. Um, but that whole atmosphere and how it's set up is so fun. But you also have places like Universal Studios that have a whole Harry Potter section where you feel like you're in the Harry Potter world. Another reason why people do theme parks is to kind of have mascots there. I know like with Disney, they're pretty big on mascots and characters being in the park. So you also kind of get that atmospheric thing from it. Uh, but mascots are pretty cool because it's like you get to see the characters you've seen in movies in real life. I don't feel like this is too big of a reason, but getting exercise is something that you'll definitely encounter when going to a theme park. Especially Disney. I had a Fitbit at one point, and I think I wore it to Disney or like a theme park at one point, and I definitely got more steps than I usually do. Kind of a side effect of getting theme parks and going to theme parks would be the social interaction. It's always fun to watch people who are new to roller coasters or a theme park in general and get to see their wonder and maybe a little bit of fear for going on certain rides. I'll be completely honest, I don't know if I've told this story, uh, but the first ever roller coaster I went on, I cried before getting on it and cried during it, and then after I finished the ride, I wanted to go again, so that's my personal take on roller coasters. But just being in a place where a lot of people are having fun together is just something that's pretty nice. 
The last thing that I saw people mention on some websites discussing theme parks was the idea of escapism. And when I saw people mention that, the first big idea in theme park that came to my mind for that was Disney. And I'm not really gonna do anything other than mention it, but like Disney adults, that's what comes to my mind when seeing escapism related to theme parks. Because when you go to a place like Disney, you're there to have fun, hopefully, and maybe you'll forget the fact that you're spending a bunch of money. But you're there and you're seeing all these people having a good time, there's cool rides, the parks themselves are usually really well maintained, so it's like, this is just a really chill place to be. But in terms of my general opinion, I've always enjoyed the idea of theme parks. I haven't been to one in a bit. The last time I went, I started to realize that I probably can't take roller coasters as much as I used to. Which then again, I realized that after going on a ride where it literally, it'll start off going in a circle like this, but then eventually go in like a circle that's just like you're going in the air and you're in like a little capsule and it's fun. But I was like, I really can't do that too much anymore. I listed a few parks that I haven't been to. One of the ones I do want to go to is Dollywood because I love Dolly Parton and I've seen pictures and my brother's gone and he liked it. So that's one of the ones I want to go to at some point. But like I've been to Disney. Animal Kingdom's really cool. Epcot, super fun. Hollywood Studios. There's a bunch that are super great and have really good atmosphere. That's definitely one of the things that I take away from theme parks. I keep mentioning Disney and I'm not someone who fully supports Disney 24 seven, but I think one of the biggest strong points that Disney has is the waiting time and like the waiting experience before actually getting on a ride. Some parks will literally just have you like in these bars like waiting to get on a ride and there's nothing around to look at or do. Um, but with Disney, they always have like some sort of theme even with a ride that you kind of get to explore and experience before even getting on a ride. I will say they're good at that. But yeah, in general, theme parks are fun. If you've never been to one, I would definitely suggest it. Even if you're not someone who's super into roller coasters, maybe pick somewhere that has other stuff to do besides just roller coasters. Okie doke, time to flamingo. Huzzah! But that's essentially the answer to the question, so feel free to let me know if there's anything that you'd like for me to discuss. I do have a Wix website where I kind of show what I'll be discussing within a certain week throughout the rest of this year, so feel free to check that out. Uh, but that's essentially it, so thank you very much for watching. Bye!